Hi friends, welcome to Sketchfield Tutorials and in this video I will show you how to pass data or information between different pages and activities and it provides many ways of storing data. Uh, for example, if you want to create an application that uses login activity, you have to store username, passwords, mobile numbers, etc. etc. on the database and when the user wants to log in the database, you have to uh, compare the username and password the user enters and uh, you, have to you have to compare it with uh, the data in the stored in the database and you have to compare them and if the if both of them are equal then user logins into the activity um, but uh, to do that we have to make an internet connection but uh, and it provides us another way to store the information locally that is on your smartphone itself and it does not require any internet connection but uh, the bad thing is you can only uh, log in only from your mobile number that is for example uh, if you register from this mobile number that is uh, the mobile the mobile in which you are seeing this video um, you can only log in with this mobile number I mean this I mean this mobile uh, you cannot log in with your friend mobile etc etc and I will show you how to do that to do that open the app sketchware and start with a new project and I am going to name it as shared preferences tutorial because shared and now as this tutorial is about the how to pass information between two pages I am creating a new page to create a new page you have to tap here and plus button and name the page as you want that's it and now I am going to select main.xml this is a main page and here I am going to take an edit text and a button to demonstrate you mm, I'll modify the properties of it now I make it layout to match parent and layout height to be something what 100 dp 100 dp I think so is very large let me shrink it to 50 dp and text size to 25 dp and text to be bold that's it I'm not going to modify it now and as you can see the hint here edit text here enter anything to store or to pass to second page this is a hint and uh, it is showing like this let me wrap content yes and anything to store or to pass to second page um, and I am modify the properties of fit now let's set it to 25 dp and and name it to send data to the second page that's it save and that's it the section is complete and I'm going to modify the page.xml now so I'm going to tap another here and select page.xml here uh, I retrieve the data from page one uh, whatever the user enters in the page main page uh, if I press a button that it displays here so I am going to take a text view and uh, I am going to take it text view now and layout width to match parent layout height to be 25 dp and text view to data that's it and when i press this button i have to modify it now layout with true match parent and text of the button to retrieve 
data from page one that's it as you can see i think it's size it is 28 rupees it's looking good now i'm going to move to the logic section uh, as you can see here it is the main page java folder that is you have to write a logic for this page that is the main page and here when button one is clicked you have to go to the view sec section component and you have to add a component and as you can see here uh, under the component section if you press the arrow then you will see the sh files shared preferences and you have to add a component name it's a, which is case sensitive so you have to write case sensitive letters because uh, capital C and small c are not same because it's case sensitive I have to name it as file itself and file name is also file you can write anything you want I am going to save and I will get access to these three blocks as you can see now yes and uh, here when button 1 is clicked I have to select this file set data key value set data key you have to uh, get you have to set a key to the information you, you are storing for example if you are storing a username you have to set a key like user and if you are um, saving a password you have to set a key like pwd which stands for password anything you want and these keys are also most important i am going to name it as uh, what i want to name it as page itself and i have to assign a value that is what is the information i am storing i have to set this value so to do that i am going to the this view section and here i am selecting this get text that is um, it's a scan of statement for like example and i am selecting this edit text and whatever the user enters and uh, here it stores in the get text edit text and I am assigning a key page to the file and this information is stored with key page that's it that's it for this page and if I go to the page activity dot java and this is page dot page activity dot java as you can see retrieve data from page one when the user presses this button this text view data has to transform to the data which the user enters in the main page so when button one is clicked you have to go to the again component section and you have to add the same file name and the same page or same file name also component name also that same and here you have to select this get data key but before selecting that you have to take another widget which is this set a text component that is it sets the text of the anything for example here it has to convert into the text view so I am taking this file text and I am selecting this file remember um, what is the key of the uh, main page I am named as page as you can see as you can see I will name it as the key the key of the page is page I have to set a key page and here I am taking that key only and not the information that is uh, here the key is the main thing that's it and let's try to run the app now it's running and it's going to install now share it as you can see now it's installed and let's open the app and there anything to store or to pass to second page now um, i'm writing 
sketchware tutorials and i'm going to send data to the second page oh uh, i did a mistake and uh, now i'm going to modify that here i send data pay data to the second page but there is no button to move to the second page so i am going to create that one so i am taking another button here and modify the properties of it now divide width to match parent i'll did it little bit fast and text button to move to second page as you can see move to second page and to do that i have a red component called intent and i'm going to name it as i and when button one button two is clicked i have to go to the set screen intent set screen i and go to the page activity and don't forget to start the activity and finish this activity that's it and uh, I'll creating page dot XML also. I'll be creating a page data button. You have to do it through match parent and text size to twenty dp. And I'll create move to first page. That's it. And when this page is clicked. That is when button two is clicked. You have to go to the component section. You have to add a component i also here. The same component i. You have to set screen, start activity, and finish the first, this activity. And intent i, intent i, set screen main activity. That's it. And Let's run the app. Let's update the app now. Let's open, and uh, now I'm going to send the data. Send data to the second page. I pressed it, and I have to move to the second page now. So I think it's a bug now. Let me delete it now. Finish activity and page dot activity also. I'm going to finish it. Okay, okay. The mistake is uh, I'm going to I'm forgot I forgot to start the activity and let's run the app and let's open. And I enter sketch for tutorials again. I send and move to second page. As you can see now, um, if I move to first page, it moves to move to first page and it's moved to second page. And I already send data to the second page, so I'll move to second page and I'll retrieve data from page one. And as you can see, when I press it, uh, it it makes sketch for tutorials, which is I want. I entered here. Uh, for example, um. I'm writing a name, which is my name, and send data to the second page and move to second page and retrieve data. As you can see, my name comes here, this side, and uh, you can enter anything, and uh, you can store this page, send data and move to second page, retrieve data, retrieve data. That's it, and that's it for today. And uh, one more thing, the data stored in the uh, Mobile folder only. That is your mobile phone only. That is you can't access this from your mobile or friend mobile or anything. And thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. And if you want anything from me, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section. I'll respond to you um, as fast as I can. Thank you.